Hello, friends. This is Thaddeus from Going Nerdy. And today I am joined by my clown friend who is absolutely terrifying. Legitimately the scariest thing that I've ever seen. I am excited to talk about tomorrow's grand arena. We were able to, to view, preview the event kind of look at what it looks like. We've seen it not necessarily in action yet, but we have seen how it's going to roll out. And we've been able to set our defense, guys. Now, I'm pretty excited about this. I'm cautiously optimistic. I'm hoping that they were able to learn from the mistakes they made when they did the the tournaments. And if you guys have been around for long enough, you remember that tournaments was a huge, huge cluster. And to be honest, I liked it, but it was definitely a use of ally points that people did not care for. And it was I had no problem with it, but they were I mean, I'm an easygoing guy and it takes a lot to rile me up. But how best to prepare for the Grand Arena? I want to go in and kind of look at what I've done and then kind of talk about some things that may impact the game a little bit. But I also want you to be aware of so that it doesn't throw you off either if you win big or lose big. First and foremost, jumping in. I hope that I'm not, you know, throwing anyone under the bus, but I'm going to be going up against I'm Broderick Jones, right? So if is out there, he's watching this video. Good luck, man. I, he and I are pretty evenly matched. If you go in, this is what you see. Obviously, you can't click on his stuff. I can't see what he's looking at or how he's setting his defense. And there's nothing I can really do right here to kind of see how he's prepared. But if you go back to the event rewards button, it brings this up. Now, there are two. It's me and him. One and two. From here, I can actually look at his inventory, his fleets, really everything. Now, he and I seem pretty evenly matched. He has 3,900,006, 906,920. My galactic power is 3,905,285. So we're very close, which is pretty neat. But if you look at his, what he's done here is he has a lot of really good characters, really geared out and Zated. All of his, his best Zetas are up there and they look pretty solid. But he has a lot of characters that don't look like they're high. And so I know right off the bat, well, his his clones are OK, but they're not great. They're not gear 12. He and I have about the same number of gear 12 characters. I'm running just under 42, I believe, 43 gear 12 characters. I'm really close got 14 gear 11s. If I really wanted to take a deeper dive and look at his gear, what I could do is is look him up in swgoh.gg and see how he rolls. And for today, I'm I'm not going to do that, but there's a lot of ways you can look at their abilities, at their kits, at their how they've set up. And simply by looking at their ally code, you can take a look and see just how formidable your opponent is. At first glance, I'm not super worried. He and I actually have a lot of the same characters, both Zated and geared out. Now, it's funny because he's got only one Zeta on, on BB-8. I've got both Zetas on BB-8. He's got all Zetas on Ray, all Zetas on CLS. He's got all Zetas on R2, whereas I'm right there with him. I don't have two Zetas on Palpatine. I just have the one. I only have, I have a Zeta on Bastila, but my Bastila isn't seven star. It is, or my Bastila is not gear 12. She is seven star, but not gear 12. I have all the Zetas on Yoda. He only has one. Um, that's not going to be a huge problem because I use Yoda as a secondary character and he probably does as well. He also has a Darth Scion 
Darth Treya. He has Darth Nihilus completely geared up and completely maxed out. It looks like he's running a Darth Treya uh, gear 12. So what it what I can do by just looking at this, I can assume that he's either going to use that Treya as a defensive character or as an offensive character. So I can know just about how I can go about destroying them. I can prepare at least mentally to kind of gauge how I'm going to be able to battle this character's team. He doesn't have a really solid Night Sister team. He has, it looks like, a pretty decent. He's got a couple of his first order characters up, not completely gear 12. Obviously, he this guy's probably not really gunning for C3PO because his Ewoks are they're not nearly as good as my Ewoks. I mean, granted, most people's are better, but but looking at his empire, I don't see that I'm really going to be facing off against an Imperial team or even a um, an Imperial trooper team. Those characters look OK, but not great. So I can kind of rule them out. His Jedi are OK again, but not the best. So really what I need to worry about is these first five. I'm going to see a Bastila Shan, Grandmaster Yoda, Hermit Yoda, Jolie Bindo and Ezra. I may see a General Kenobi and a Barriss Offy somewhere, but it's not likely that I'm going to see him on this original Jedi team. So I need to make sure that my Jedi are solid. His Rebels, right? He's got CLS, R2, Chewbacca and Han Solo. So it's probably going to see something with those four there. I don't think he'll throw in Biggs. He has Biggs, Darklighter, 12 star, but I'm not super worried about that. He does have the Jin Urso uh, Zeta, which is a pretty good Zeta, especially for early Zetas. Uh, it's not the best for sure. And looking at this Phoenix team and a lot of the others, I'm not super worried about this. It does look like I'm going up against a character who's pretty solid, who knows their stuff. I've got some solid teams on defense. I've got a first order team. It is a fully Zated first order team. The only thing that I don't have here is I've got Stormtrooper. While he has a Zeta, he's like gear eight or gear nine. I'm working on him, but things have come up. Obviously, the Ewoks, and I kind of put them on the back burner for a time. I've got my Bastila Shan team. This is the team that I feel like I'm going to be seeing from him. With the exception of General Kenobi, he's going to be using Joe Lee Bindo. So what I feel like I need to be doing is I need to be on my guard. For whatever reason, I thought it was a good idea to throw my bounty hunters out there as well. Probably not the best. Probably a dumb move here. Probably was, but we'll see. We'll see how he does. Now, that's that's my first territory that I've got. My second territory, I've got I've got my full on resistance team. I've got BB-8 underneath a JTR resistance trooper, Ray and R2. I don't have her Zated. She does have a good Zeta for, for events like this. It's not the best and I don't want to waste the Zeta on it. Maybe one day I will. My Vader team is an interesting one here, and I probably could have done it very differently. But I've got Vader, Palpatine, Thrawn, High Fighter Pilot, and the old man himself. It's an OK team. It's not the best team. I like the team. He's probably going to just walk right over this team to finish it off. I have my Night Sisters, and it's a pretty solid team. I don't have Mother Talzin to gear 12. She's gear 10, so not terrible. She does have all the Zetas. I have the Zeta on Baldy McBalderson, and, you know, I've got the rest of them gear 12. They're a solid team. Here's the thing. The rest of my characters, I'm not super worried. I've got a solid crew that I can... I think do some damage with, but I am definitely using my my B teams as my attackers on this. And I'm curious to see where that goes, because I, I know what I'm going to be facing. I just want to know if if he's going to be putting his A teams 
on defense or on offense because he and I are very similar. It does look like I don't have a lot to worry about. I can definitely look at his roster and make educated guesses about how he's doing. If you have some tips, leave them in the comment section below. Join us on Discord and share them with the group, especially if you're in like a time zone that's like a day ahead of us, right? If you're in the future watching this and, you know, you could tell us those of us who were in the past, right? So if you're like in Australia and you've already taken your turn, let us know, right? Throw a chat to us, you know, and say, hey, people of yesteryear, or yesterday, this is what's going on. Right. And that's that's not just for Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. If any future events happen and you get a drop, let us know. Help, help, help us out. Right. Scratch our backs. We'll scratch your backs or we'll just appreciate you because you're again, you're in the future. That being said, guys, like, subscribe, share this video. If you feel like donating to the channel, supporting the channel, check out the section below where you can see links to help us out. Every little thing is appreciated. This has been Thaddeus from Going Nerdy. And as always, my friends, stay nerdy.